Hi, it's Charity, and it's a beautiful morning in Tiny Town. Now we have our next resident, Opal Jim, and she's going to earn money with a jewel crafting skill. So the first thing that we need to do is get 40 simoleons in order to cut a gem or make jewelry. And unfortunately, we have zero. So the first thing that I did is I found something that was only 10 simoleons and we're going to tin the table and start a yard sale. Now the other tiny towners have actually gathered quite a few gems and metals for me. So this should be pretty easy to start out. And we sold it. So we don't need the yard sale anymore. I'm just introducing myself to Letitia and I haven't seen Cypress around yet. Oh, Opal likes gardening. I'm actually avoiding cooking anything right now because if you eat something, you have a chance to become extremely uncomfortable. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just eating the fruits and vegetables from my inventory. Oh, there's Cypress. I want to make sure that she knows Cypress and maybe some of the local Hennepin on Bagley people. Okay, I'm going to use the cheapest metal and make a bracelet. Oh, it's the welcome wagon already. Um, I'm trying to make something here. I guess we should be civil. Uh, where are they, though? I don't see them. Are they over here? I suppose they're over here. They come to the mailbox because I don't have a front door yet. Hopefully she can continue that later. And there's my fruitcake over there. And we have gemology level two and a bracelet. Worth 98 simoleons. Pretty good. Okay, Ian, are you my neighbor now? I don't know why Ian keeps coming around to all of my tiny town households. <laughs> so, he was one of Frank's love interests. Well, I don't have any money to make anything else, so I need to sell the bracelet. I have to be careful with Opal because her skill requires me to spend simoleons even if I have all of the ingredients, like the metal and the crystal, you still, for some reason, need to spend simoleons on the design, which is kind of annoying. Okay, what did Ian give me? A cheese pizza. Thanks, Ian. I mean, normally I would be happy about that in a rags to riches, but this lot has the grody lot trait. So I really don't want to eat anything. Oh, and Opal has a stupid umbrella. All right, who has an umbrella stand? I should buy one for the community center. We definitely need an umbrella stand. Why did I not think of that before? Tend the table. Don't open your stupid umbrella. Umbrellas were a nice thought for a feature, but they tend to glitch out everything. It's super annoying. Okay, I made my money. Now I'm buying an umbrella stand. Well, it's kind of annoying to have to spend 150 simoleons for someone who doesn't even have a house. Now, I'm not sure what the most cost-effective way to make jewelry is. Should we just make jewelry with the metal and then cut the gemstones? Should we actually put the gemstones in the jewelry? Uh, what makes the biggest profit? I have no idea. So we're just going to kind of take it as it comes. Uh, I don't want you to be uncomfortable, though. It's because of her wet clothes. Get out of your wet clothes. Oh, this will have to actually be the last one for the day. I didn't realize it's almost midnight. I guess Opal is going to be more of a night owl than Frank's stem, though, because she doesn't have to worry about picking the plants right when they sprout at 5 a.m. And that one's worth 147 simoleons. Why is Lilith just standing over there? Opal was going to say hi to her, but I stopped her. I don't want vampires. Go away, Lilith. Now, I'll keep an eye out for a match for Opal, but I think that most of the people that show up here tend to be married. Okay, we did meet Michael, but we have not sold our bracelet. And it's already 3 a.m., so I'm going to send her to bed. Okay, we made a basic bracelet. And I think we're going to try to gift this to Letitia. It's a yellow bracelet. I think she might like it. 
Hi, Letitia. Thanks for being such a good neighbor. I made a bracelet for you. Maybe this will cheer you up. You look sad. And that completes the first step of our aspiration. Okay, now we need to plant a crystal seed and wear a fully charged jewelry piece. So, we need something that can take a charge. Oh, we can already make a seed-shaped gemstone. It costs 100 simoleons, though. And I think you should probably use the cheapest one that you have, because it doesn't matter which one you use, they all do the same thing. So, let's try to have the topaz. Hopefully she doesn't botch this. Because it does cost 100 simoleons for the design, and that's a lot. I want to get this planted as soon as possible because... Oh, what Bess? No, I'm not donating one simoleon. It just gives you a short happy buff. It would be okay if the buff lasted a while, but I think the buff lasts like 10 minutes. It's not even worth doing. Okay, we have a seed-shaped gemstone. And we're going to go ahead and plant that. And I don't mind what quality it is. It's just normal. So this one is just going to be our first crystal tree. I'm going to have a lot of crystal trees in her yard. So we have to get started now because they take like a week to grow. All right, now we need to wear a fully charged jewelry piece. Okay, a chunky bracelet allows me to select a crystal. So hopefully this will turn out good. Okay, Sim gains mental skills faster. Sim will take longer to burn out on mental activities. And technically, this counts as a mental activity. So we will use this one. Uh, I do have some plum bites. Um, but I think that those are going to be uh, super delicate. So I want to make sure that I don't botch those. Oh, I don't have 45 simoleons. Okay, we need to sell something first. Okay, stop complaining about the dogs and the cats and just buy my bracelet. And we sold it for 588. Awesome. All right, you're too uncomfortable. Go sleep. It's not going to matter anyway. And you're also getting mental fog. She needs that bracelet. It's haunted. Okay, um, maybe we'll call over Cyprus to deal with this because if I deal with it myself, it gives me money, which I really don't want. Oh, look, it's one of the triplets, Aspen. Let's say hi. We need some social anyway. Why can I not say hi to the toddler? There we go. Can you fix what's wrong, please? Okay, gardening doesn't make my mental fog increase. Although technically, I think gardening is a mental skill. Oh no, Opal is erratic. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go with it. It's, that sounds fine. Basically, it's because she swatted the flies. And the ghost is breaking everything. Come on, can you deal with the ghost, please? Fixing things won't help. Fine, I'm going to confront her because Cypress and Letitia are both here and they're not doing anything about the ghost. Okay, apparently now confronting the ghost has a cooldown. I did not know that. They must have changed it. Okay, I can confront her again. I used to be able to just spam it. Okay, Letitia, I need you to fix the toilet because I'm going to need to pee soon. Although I could use Frank's bush. <laughs> I've just been using Frank's bush over here because since he's the plant guy, he actually has one. So that actually doesn't make me uncomfortable if I use a bush. It, it makes me slightly uncomfortable, but it doesn't give me the grody effect. So maybe we'll just continue using Frank's bush. Oh, maybe we could do some flower arranging. That's a creative skill, maybe? I don't know if it is or not. The only thing is I don't have any low-level flowers. I only have the orchids that were on Frank's porch. And she's too uncomfortable anyway. 
Okay, we need either bluebells, daisies, holly, or chrysanthemums. And since it's winter, there will be no natural growing ones. So we are not going to be able to do this for free. We could also do some candle making. I think Frank has a candle maker on his porch. We can kind of use his stuff. I don't know if that's creative or not, though. Let me get the beeswax. And then we also need to go to the dump. Oh, yes. Candle making is creative, even though it's fabrication. So that will be our way of getting rid of the mental fog. Now, once we finish this stupid bracelet, we hopefully won't need to worry about mental fog very much. All right, it's still seven hours. <laughs> that didn't help too much. Let's just go to the dump because we need to. Yeah, we have to empty the outdoor trash. And it sounds like we also have dust bunnies. I don't see them. I heard the sound, but I don't see them. Yeah, we got rid of mold with Frank's stem, so now we can kind of ignore the dirty bathroom. But it gets annoying after a while. We're going to have to call Cypress over to fix the shower, too. Okay, we'll take a quick nap so our mental fog goes away, and then we're going to wake up and finish that bracelet. Okay, now we need to charge it. Okay, I don't know if it's fully charged. It says charge remaining two days. How do you tell if it's fully charged? I guess we'll have to wear it and then just put it back on the grid when nighttime comes. Yeah, you can't really see it with this outfit, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, you can't really see it with this outfit either if she's wearing it. Yeah, it says she's wearing it. All right. Well, I guess it's because it's winter. She has long sleeves on, so we are not going to see her bracelets. Probably not her necklaces either, because turtlenecks tend to cover up the necklaces in Kaz. Oh, Grover is cute. I think we may adopt Grover if I can introduce myself and get to know him. Grover is a prowler curious and a free spirit that sounds like opal's type of cat also they're very good for raising your social and your fun just play with the laser pointer and your social and fun go up really quick okay we need to make some excellent pieces of jewelry in order to sell because we have no money or not very much money Oh, look, Frank Stim is wearing some seasonal outfit. That is cute, actually. I thought he was Father Winter at first, but nope. That's just Frank. Since it's Winterfest, I will allow Opal to open one present. And she can also get one present from Father Winter. We got a Raising a Reader Kids poster. Okay, I actually like this poster. I was going to put it in the rec center, but this kind of suits Opal's vibe. I mean, this poster would be perfect for her kid's room. I guess I'm going to keep it. Oh, our crystal tree has grown. Oh, we got to harvest the crystals. There's actually crystals in it. Now the only thing we need is a metal tree. Because there's no other way to get metals other than harvesting, I guess. I didn't expect it to grow so quickly. Oh, come on. The ghost is going up there. <sighs> Fine. The ghost is preventing me from sleeping in the enclosure. I think because it's going inside, I can't go inside. And it's crying. Okay, I can go inside now. Sometimes the treehouse gets bugged where only one sim can sleep in it or be inside the treehouse at a time and no other sim will be able to get in. <laughs> Cecilia has a crush on Derek McMillan. Um, Derek is married and he's gay. I'm going to tell her I don't think that's a good idea because Derek McMillan... He, it, that should not happen. Sims should not be able to 
use neighborhood stories or these little pop-ups in order to bypass preferences. It's no, I don't think it's a good idea. I have to make sure she's focused when she's doing her jewel craft because we need to do 10 of these while she's focused, but only make five excellent ones. Uh -huh. Well, that's a little bit imbalanced. I wonder if giving a sales pitch actually gets her any social need. No, of course it doesn't. Okay, well, you just have to use regular sh socials in order to get your social need up. Well, who is this? Bill Munch. Bill is probably single. Let's find out. Oh, no, he left. I tried to introduce... Oh, I did get introduced to him. Okay, good. At least I know him now, and maybe we can talk to him later and find out if he's single. Let's introduce ourselves to Frank. We should at least be acquaintances with him. Well, at least we sold something now. Oh, Bill is single. He actually came back. Maybe we can get to know him a little bit. Oh, he's jealous and nosy. Well, not the best traits. Okay, he likes classical music, but dislikes the violin. I think that means he dislikes playing the violin. Uh, certainly not listening to the violin if he likes classical music. However, I don't think he would like it if someone was actually playing the violin. I think this charging pad looks really nice on top of a circular table. And this one, I think, is the best one that I found. It needs a table that has a tabletop almost the same size as the charging pad to look decent. All right, we sold all of our jewelry. And this thing is charging now. Oh, yeah. And since she's erratic, she will just randomly shower in the rain and not care that anybody else is around. All right. Well, that's going to be our little opal. Well, Cypress is sleeping in my treehouse. I don't know if maybe he's in trouble or maybe he's there for some reason. Okay. He also is for some reason very stinky. And there's a shower right there, Cypress. Why don't you use it? Oh, and Opal now has the outdoorsy lifestyle. Great. Oh, so that's why Cecilia wanted to date that guy. His husband is actually dead. Whoops. Well, don't haunt my house, Ian. Sorry, you can't be here. No, he's not going away. All right. I wish Cypress would come take care of it. Randomly, when I tell her to eat something, she goes and she places it on one of the planters in here or somewhere else in the world, apparently on here. I did not click place in world. At least I don't think I did. It's possible I hit place in world. <laughs> now, great. He's pranking the presents box. I won't be able to get any good presents next time. Okay. Please get rid of the ghost, Letitia. No, don't go home. Now he's possessing my jewel craft. Come on, get out of there. At least by confronting him, I can stop him from trying to break objects for a few seconds. Well, since it's night on the town, we'll order some food for once and probably get sick from it. But hey, we have to solve the holiday. In the end, Derek McMillan and I were not made for each other. Okay, well, he's also an elder and yeah, his sexual preference doesn't match yours. So even though his husband died, I don't think that that would have worked out. Cecilia is a young adult. So I don't mind shipping adults and elders, but young adult and elder is kind of weird. Oh, look who's here. Bill Munch is around. So we'll flirt with him a little bit because he actually does like women. So that's nice. All right. This place is still haunted. And we've also got weeds. That's fun. I did buy some more things to plant. So we have a little bit more variety. No. No, Letitia. Okay. I was about to say she better not harvest those. She's just studying the plant. Okay, I better go over there and get it before anybody else thinks about it. These are my crystals. Nobody touch them. 
I'm going to take a chance on cutting one of the plum bites because we really need to get it to the point where she doesn't have needs because there's just so much to do around here. I can't keep up with her sleeping, her eating, her bladder, her hygiene, and everything else if I'm constantly cutting gems. And we only have 6,000 simoleons. I don't even think we'll be able to do an exterior of a house because her house is going to be quite large. I plan on making it multiple levels because it's supposed to be like a storybook type setting and I want to make a castle for her. A small castle, but a castle. And she didn't botch it. Good. In fact, it is excellent. Now the only issue is that I have to charge it first. It seems like none of the others are taking care of the plants, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that they would at least weed and water them. Uh, I'm happy that they're not harvesting them, but I really only want my crystal tree. If they happen to harvest the fruits and vegetables, I'm okay with that. Okay, Opal is going to be a health food nut because she's always eating plants. Hello. Oh, uh, is this Vinny? Um, since she's erratic, she's going to say yes. Uh, oh, no, we get 5,000 simoleons. No, no, I didn't want that. Oh, okay, listen, I need a place to stash this money. Take it. Don't tell anyone. No, we're going to be cheating that away. Okay, maybe we'll be able to cut one more gemstone before it's time to go to bed. Uh-oh. Hey, what happened to that money you promised me? What gives? Um, I've never seen them actually stop by. Is he breaking my stuff? Okay. I guess we're going to have to try and fight him to make him leave. Oh no, she's inspired. No, don't finish that. Don't finish that. We need to be focused when we finish. Well, this probably won't go over well. And I lost. Leave me in peace. Looks like Opal has not been getting along with a particularly argumentative sim. Argumentative sims are not afraid to be a bit mean when the situation calls for it and tend to be angrier overall. This can often rub the other sim the wrong way. So yeah, she dislikes argumentative sims now. And now they despise each other. Well, this is an interesting development. How can I get him to leave? And Cyprus is trying to be a good neighbor by toasting. Oh, he's also evil. That makes sense, then, that he would be our, our enemy. <laughs> well, we have an enemy now. All because we took that money, and we didn't even keep it. We actually threw it away. I can fight him to leave, but I can't pay him to leave. Maybe if I just ask him to leave? That probably won't work, because we're now enemies. Okay. No, 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 no. We are not going to be mean. She's being mean to the evil person because she's good. No, we're not switching that. I reserve the right to decline the overrides if they pop up. I don't like overrides. I'll add to their character if it kind of fits the story, but I am not going to switch her from being good to mean. Okay, the plum bite is not fully charged but it's partially charged right okay yeah all of my needs are going up so this will save me some time because I can actually work on my gems at night so this is charity thanks for watching <laughs>